firefighters, uh, don't worry, Kerry. Firefighters are masters at conquering the toughest of challenges, and one group of Aussie fireys has become a force to be reckoned with in a viral internet age. It's a tough job being a firefighter, but it's often about more than responding to distress calls and putting out flames. That's right, sometimes it's also about the running man challenge. Me and another one, one of the guys from the shift. To be honest, we're pretty competitive, and so we did see what Vic Pole and, and some of the Ambos and everyone else had done, and we thought, you know what, we can blow them out of the water. Fun YouTube clips have become a thing from emergency service workers, but the firefighters from Melbourne City's B shift don't stop there. We do a lot of uh, mock photo shoots, just anything basically that can bring the shift together and, and have a bit of a, a bit of a good time is what we aim to do. It looks like the building's on fire. Let's see if we can get the fire brigade here. Very, very social shift. So as well as being able to have a bit of fun while we're working and, and here on station, we actually go out and we'll actually be quite interactive socially. They've even made their own calendar. And no, it's not one of those calendars. Everybody knows the stereotypical firefighter's calendar. <laughs> and there's no, there's no denying what they are all about. And we thought, you know, it would be fun to bring the shift together, come up with a different idea and, and have some different themes just to, to bring out a different side of the firefighters. We enjoy each other's company. It's a very demanding job and we have to rely on each other. Um, and I've been very lucky as a fairly new senior station officer here to inherit a very good culture and to be able to foster that. Firefighters are exposed to more human suffering in a single shift than most people would deal with in a lifetime. And it's having an impact on their health with one emergency service worker committing suicide every six weeks. I can't go home and talk to my wife about some of the stuff that I see at work. We sometimes see some stuff that you know out there and that you look at and you look at and you go, oh, I need to talk to someone about that or I need the fire crews to come and talk to me about what they've seen. The stresses of the job can really build up over time and, and if you didn't have that mateship or that camaraderie then yeah, it could wear you down pretty easily. So when the B-shift is mucking around, it isn't just a bunch of guys having fun. It could help save their lives. These are some of the best people I've ever met that I get to work alongside. There's some tough times, there's some fun times, but yeah, and you share, you share everything. The closest I've had is like a football club that could compare to this. Literally, your brothers and, and you'd do anything for them. Highs and lows, you'll be there for each other, which is, which is amazing. What well, another feature, boys. But if you're in the A shift, would you be looking at them going, I want to be in that team? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fantastic. I mean, there's such important members of the community, obviously. And sometimes we forget how serious. I, can't, I couldn't think of a more stressful job. Yeah. Uh, so it's good that they're having fun. And, yeah, yeah. Nice. good on them. Um, if you find yourself in any need of help, by the way, for any reason, crisis support is available through Lifeline on 13 11 14.